this next activity is going to make use of radio buttons as we can see here and what a radio button does is basically gives the user a selection of options yet only one can be highlighted out of the radio buttons so the way we're going to do it in this activity is we're going to make a sample multiple choice question and as you can see here we've got an area we can put in a question and we have four possible answers and then we have two labels which say please try again or you are correct which basically tells the user whether they've selected the right answer or not so let's take a look at how we actually code these actual radio buttons so what I'm going to actually do is code each button individually now I've got to pick which one's actually going to be my correct answer so I'm going to make it in this scenario that answer one is the correct answer so let's start off with answer one now as you can see I've done a bit of coding in this program already and this is for the two buttons that were on my screen one was an end button which closes the program and the only code I've entered in there is end and then the other code you can already see here is a linking form code which links to the next question which is going to show you a sample of a real question so hopefully that's a code you're familiar with but let's focus on the radio button now so as we said this first question is going to be for our correct answer so this is as you can see is named radio button answer one and I might as well also go through what the names of the other elements were okay so all the other buttons are RDB radio button answer 2 RDB answer 3 and RDB answer 4 okay the labels as well have names okay so this label here is LBL incorrect and I bet you can guess it this label here is LBL correct okay so they're the important names of the actual elements on my screen you need to know in order for this program to work so let's go back into our code for answer one now if you read this top line it's basically saying that if RDB answer one is underscore check change so if it's checked meaning it's the highlighted button we basically say in our code if true then so it's a conditional logic it's an if statement once again okay so if it's true then LBL correct dot visible okay because we're going to got them both set to be invisible as a part of their properties equals true and thus if that's true we don't want the other label appearing so LBL incorrect dot visible equals false okay and that's all we need to basically say so what that code will mean is LBL correct will be visible which is the one that says you are correct and the other one that says please try again will be not visible so it's important to point out there too that both these buttons have their visibility property set to false okay which means by default they don't appear on screen so we're going to put virtually the same code into these other three radio buttons okay and what I'm going to do is actually cut and paste it straight control C control V except I have to switch around the true and false because I want incorrect LBL incorrect to be the visual one because the other answers I said were going to be my incorrect answers so I'm going to copy that one now because that's going to be exactly the same for the other two buttons okay so RDB answer 3 is also going to be true if it's incorrect and finally answer 4 okay so all the other three answers should appear as incorrect when I put this to test so let's play my actual program and see what happens now by their nature for radio buttons one is already highlighted and there are ways around this okay the most appropriate ways involve code but I'll show you a little loophole soon so answer 4 is already highlighted and by it being answer 4 to what we coded with it it says please try again as we said answer 1 was the correct answer so when I click on answer 1 it says I am correct okay answer 2 is incorrect answer 3 is incorrect answer 4 is incorrect so the program is actually checking itself based on whether a radio button is um, checked or unchecked okay and answer 1 was the correct checked answer so it gives us the appropriate feedback you are correct
So I'm going to click on next now and we're going to look at another form which actually has a real question in it. So let's go next. And here is my question two. Okay, and it's a real question. So which of the following is the capital city of Australia? And I've got four options here. Okay, so first thing you notice is none of them are checked. Okay, and the reason none of them are checked is, and this is, remember I'm trying to keep these programs simple. I put in a little loophole down here and I've actually got a fifth button, a radio button as the starter. Okay, and this is the starter, makes sure that both feedbacks are invisible. Okay, and it keeps all my question responses unchecked. So if you do want to test around and make your own little quiz with none of them checked the first, that's a cheap little way of doing it. Okay, just hide it off screen. But basically, the correct answer here is Canberra. So when I click at Canberra, it goes, you are correct. Okay, but all the other answers are incorrect. So I hope this has been an interesting introduction into the use of radio buttons and the things you can do with them. By their nature, only one radio button can be highlighted at a time. If you did want a scenario where you wanted to have multiple options to be highlighted, you'd then use check boxes. Okay, but radio buttons are a powerful tool where you can program each one individually and they can do different actual tasks for your program based on which one is highlighted. So give them a try in your programs.